And now, the GT Marin Live Special. We've got Declan Brown here joining the team to bring you the Skyrim game review. Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of GT Marion Live. My name is Declan Brown and I'm here today with Darcy Newley. Hello. And Liam Harvey. Hey. And they're going to take us through the world of Skyrim. Thanks for being here, guys. Basically, Skyrim is the continuation of the Elder Scrolls series, the sequel to Oblivion, which was released back in 2006. It's a wide-open sandbox RPG made by Bethesda Game Studios in which you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want. Yes, it's come a long way since Oblivion. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along, or I'll order my... Probably the town. biggest pro, and I suspect most people who play it will agree, is just the world itself. Skyrim, as Bethesda have boasted quite a bit, has been pretty much entirely handcrafted, so there's quite a lot of detail in the world. Yes, an example of that detail is just here, you see salmon swimming upstream and it's just the very little things about the game that just bring it to life. They've succeeded in making it feel like a living breathing world. This looks good. People aren't quite like the awkward automatons that they had in the previous games including like Fallout 3. It seems like every single NPC has its own personality and it just makes them more relatable, it makes the game more interesting. And for those who are interested there's quite a lot of lore from the game's universe that you can read through. There's, there's a ton of books and a lot of reading material for those who are really into that sort of stuff. Yes, I'd say one of the best things about Skyrim would possibly be the score. The music of Skyrim is just incredible. It really adds to the atmosphere of the game. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Completely epic in terms of music. Uh, the atmospheric music is great. It really sort of sort of sets the mood for sort of the amazing world that Bethesda have created. The sound effects are great, and just sort of any of the sounds that the creatures make in anything, it just all sounds wonderful. So, if you have a surround sound system, you do. The main quest is really, it's really optional. Like, there is so much more to do, and so much... For, for anybody who just sort of loves getting into role-playing, you can make your own character, make your own story, just go do whatever. Well, as anybody who knows Bethesda or has played the Elder Scrolls game before, you're probably expecting that there's going to be bugs, and yeah, there are. Yeah, it is worth noting that it is a huge game, and it's worth, uh, it, it, it's, it's gonna happen basically with anybody, but Bethesda seem to be fairly notorious for it, and there are some pretty funny bugs. Um, I have seen a mammoth flying. Um, I know Liam's had at least one crash, but it, it, so far, it seems that Bethesda have done a better job on sort of their bug testing than previous games, but there are some just to warn some people. The interface, while improved, is a little bit clunky. There's basically the favourite system where you sort of set a weapon to your favourite menu, then open Q to open the battle. Can feel a bit slow at times, and when you're in the heat of battle, it can sort of break up the flow of it. But otherwise, in this sort of huge game, those are sort of fairly minor things that haven't really done anything to stop me enjoying it so far. There are a few graphical glitches, like um, load distances and so on. Some of the textures probably aren't as high quality as some people who've played Battle 3 or Field 3 or Uncharted 3 are used to. It, it is a beautiful world, but you will probably run into some funny looking rocks and some slightly blurry texture somewhere. It's very hard to find negative points with the game at all because you look at it and in a game this size, like, you just have to forgive any of the small bugs because you realise that this is all handmade. There's no other games like this. <laughs> you so the big question, guys, is the game worth playing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. You're gonna get so much gameplay time out of it. You're just gonna get sucked into the world. Plus, the modding, um, if you're interested in that, you can extend the life of this game potentially indefinitely. I know some people are still playing Oblivion after it's been released all those years ago and Morrowind before it, so you definitely need to get your money's worth out of this. I have to agree with Darcy. It's definitely worth the money. I think we're going to be playing Skyrim until Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. It's an incredible game. Get the game, explore for yourself. Your story is going to be different to anybody else's who you meet. 
and talk to about this game. So if you guys like the sound of Skyrim, come down to Game Traders Marion and pick up your copy on PC for $79.95 or the consoles for $89.95. Cheers for joining us in this review guys. Remember to favourite, comment and consider subscribing to the Game Traders Marion channel for more episodes of GT Marion Live.